Should he get in front of the info before it potentially spreads to his wife is the advice that he wants this morning. If you guys want to play therapist or whatever, uh, give him some advice. You can hit us up at um, 1-855-BIRCHOW. Mo's got the email. I've been married 27 years. Congrats. Yeah. My wife and her best friend from childhood have recently gotten in an argument about three months now. The best friend accused my wife of sleeping with her husband. I don't know the timeline. Like, was it a month ago or 26 years ago? The best friend is a drinker and comes up with some wild stuff. I know the husband and don't feel like it's true. My wife was very hurt by the accusations. They haven't spoken for a few months now. My wife and I ran into them at a wedding the other day. The husband wouldn't even look my way. I thought that was odd since I haven't even acknowledged the argumental accusations. Way back before we were married, I actually slept with the best friend. Uh, now we got problems. Now I'm wondering if she told her husband about that or if he is just worried that I think he and my wife slept together. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you processing as I you're am. reading? I am. Yeah. I run into the best friend a lot. She has never told me about the argument between my wife and her. Should I ask what's with her husband or should I keep acting like nothing has ever happened? If the husband confronts me, should I act like it never happened? Also, my wife has no idea about me and the best friend. Oh, but 27. See, here's a really good point here, man. You're 27 years into marriage, man. You still got problems. You are never on easy <laughs> street right here. Now, I'm just assuming if this happened, he sleeps with her best friend before they were married. I mean, we're talking and, 30 years ago. Yeah, three mm -hmm. decades ago. I think it's fair. I don't know. Look, I don't think like a woman. Is it fair to say that if he says, look, there is something I never told you about. Here we are 30 years later. I never told you about. Man, I hooked up with Jane, whatever her name is. Before you and I even got married. Now it's no longer about the fact you slept with my best friend before we were married. It's the fact you hid that secret for 30 years. Ooh, Damn it. Good luck getting out of that one. <laughs> and Cass, you want to get in on this? Is this one that it doesn't matter how long ago it happened, it, the secret is really going to be the problem now? I, I hate that it's come to that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I would like to say it shouldn't be a problem. And I'm trying to put myself in their shoes. Like, if Chad came to me and told me that, you know, 12 years into our relationship, he had slept with my best friend beforehand, how I would feel. I would definitely feel lied to and betrayed. But at the same time, I could logically recognize it was before I came into the picture. Like, it was before us. So I shouldn't feel that way. But what I think and how I feel are two different things. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I'm actually going to be more sensitive than you are in this area. Now that I think about it, because it's not like a best friend that they never see. So they're all hanging out with each other. It sounds like it's a pretty intimate friendship. They're all hanging out with each other all of these years. All of these years. So... Now I'm starting to look back going, so wait a second. I've been hanging out with this best friend and this this and you for 30 years now and you guys have held this secret and I never knew about it and it's right here in front of me. But I have how do you share that? I'm sorry, Kristen. How do you share that without ruining your relationship? Like even up front, I'm assuming that's why he never shared it because you're afraid you're going to lose the person you love over some stupid thing you did before you guys were a thing. And they're with each other 27 years. They're going to get over this, but it's going to be rough. I yeah. Think. And this is one of those instances where she's going to be mad either way. Like it's, it's a no win situation. You just have to figure out which one is going to be less hurtful. Um, I have a friend that I've known for 30 years and if she, you know, granted, Bart and I have only been together for 16, but if I had found out that this best friend that I've known for 30 years slept with my husband before, you know, we were even together, mm -hmm. there would be a world of hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're dead to me. <laughs> uh, I'm with Kristen on the, it's not about the action as much as it's about the fact that you hit it all these years. So if I'm in this situation, honestly, this is a, I'm not crossing that bridge unless I come to it situation. And the fact that. I know my wife is already mm. mad at the best friend. And then now on top of that, I'm going to tell her what happened with me and the best friend. I'm only dealing with that if I have to. And if I do anything and I have to see this best friend a lot, I would probably talk to her. Man, uh, I'm going to take the opposite angle on this thing. I'm going to say sit the wife down and go, I've been a complete idiot. I've been holding something from you for 27 years. 
Um, and now it's time for me to tell you exactly what's going on. I would get in front of it because if this thing blows up and then she finds out some other way, oh, it's going to be even worse. So they always say if you do that in a relationship, are you really doing it for you or are you doing it for her? Who cares? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this secret is going to come out, I think. Who cares? But, uh, who cares? <laughs> the Burt Show. So first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get The Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.